Hello and welcome to our Lake Point Kids online family experience. I'm Ms. Rachel and I'm so wait, glad that- Wait, 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 Ms. Rachel, uh, are, are you in your bathrobe? Where's your Lake Point Kids t-shirt? Uh, I'm not wearing my Lake Point Kids t-shirt today, Pastor Ethan. Uh, what? Why? Pastor Ethan, we have filmed over 175 Lake Point Kids online experiences and I have worn that t-shirt every single time. Plus, I wear it all the time on Sundays too. The kids probably think I have a closet full of Lake Point Kid t-shirts and nothing else. Okay, so maybe I do, but it's because I have to wear them all the time. Uh, well, I don't really think they care about what you wear. Well, I do. Well, it's better than your bathrobe. <sighs> Pastor Ethan, my bathrobe is very nice, thank you very much. Besides, I have been working, friends, at making a new look for me and all our Lake Point Kid leaders. All I have to do is get the Lake Point Kid logo printed on them, and so I think you're really gonna like them. So I'll show you a few of my options, and you tell me what you think. So, what do you think? Pastor Rachel, those are awful. Your blue Lake Point Kid t-shirt is much better. But, it's old, it's boring, it's predictable. I'm just not happy wearing it anymore. It's much better than any of those options. Look, have you read over your script for today? Do you even know what we're talking about this month? Well, uh, now that you mention it, no. No, I haven't read it over yet. I, I was so busy designing shirts. <laughs> <sighs> Take a few minutes to give it a read, then come back. Okay, I'll be right back, friends. Welcome back, friends. As you can see, I've changed into my Lake Point t-shirt again. I read the lesson plan and I had a change of heart. The theme this month really got to me. What is it, you ask? Well, take a look. Contentment is learning to be okay with what you have. I'll count to three and then we'll say it together. One, two, three. Contentment is learning to be okay with what you have. So, instead of whining and complaining that I have to wear the same tea every week, I can just get over it and be fine with it. I mean, I'm thankful that the shirt fits and it's free of holes. And if I'm being honest, it does make getting dressed in the morning super easy. And, you know, blue is a nice color and I could change it up a little bit each week with different scarves. I could, I could put different <coughs> No, nope. no, never mind. No, I don't need it. I am content with this shirt. It's all good. You know, being content with my blue Lake Point Kids tee isn't just an idea Pastor Ethan had. Jesus talks about contentment in the Bible. Then he said to them, watch out. Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Luke 12, 15, nerve. Jesus is telling us two important things. First, life is more than what you have, the things you own and the shirts you wear. And second, wanting more and more, it isn't good for you. Don't get tricked into thinking you need more because it really doesn't matter. All right, now let's rehearse the verse. Then he said to them, Watch out. Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Luke 12, 15, nerve. All right, stand up to your feet. For our member verse challenge today, we're going to practice saying our verse while we walk on the spot. Go. Then he said to them, watch out. Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Luke 12, 15, nerve. Now let's try to say it again as we lightly jog on the spot. Begin. Then he said to them, watch out. Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Luke 12, 15, nerve. And for the last time, run as fast as you can on the spot. Go. Then he said to them, watch out. Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Luke 12, 15, nerve. Great job. So contentment, what is it again? Well, contentment is learning to be okay with what you have. 
And our bottom line or focus point of today is God can help you be content. Let's say it together. One, two, three. God can help you be content. So if I'm feeling bored and tired and ungrateful of my shirt, God can actually help me with that? Hmm, I want to learn more. Let's check it out now with the so-and-so show. You cannot. Can't who? Cannot. Can't who? There's no way that you can ride a unicycle. Yes, I can. It's easy. Easy? <laughs> Prove it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I will. Unicycle John, here I come. Woo! <laughs> I thought you said you could ride a unicycle. I can. But I still have the training wheel on. Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this is the So-and-So Show. John? Yeah. You going on a bike ride? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get out and get some exercise every day, so I've been taking rides around the neighborhood. Oh, that's a nice looking bike. Oh, yeah? You yeah, think so? I Man, I've had this thing for a few years. I mean, sure, it's a little old, a little rusty, but it still takes me where I want to go. <laughs> that's all I need. <laughs> you ever look at your old rusty bike and think, this is all I need? Uh, Yes? Well, you're wrong. Looney Larry here with the latest deals in physical fitness to keep you as healthy as a horse. Horses are not particularly healthy. Ugh, I was hoping to get some exercise, but what's the deal with all this fresh air? Gross. I wish I could get sweaty in air conditioning and pay a lot of money for something I could do for free. Lucky you. Introducing the Laraton, a top-of-the-line exercise bike. Want to ride a bike but not go anywhere? Get a Laraton today and ditch your old, sad, bad, rusty, barely functioning, low-quality, stinky, unacceptable, cheap downer of a bike. It'll make your life better. Would I lie? I must have one. But, John... Oh, it's here! Oh. Help me move it in. Come on, come on, I'm sure it's heavy. 12 and a half minutes later. <laughs> well? Well what? Is it worth it? Are you happy now? Oh yeah, I'm so happy. Good. This is way better than a bicycle that actually goes places. Now I've got everything I need. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure your Laraton has everything you need? I was sure. Well, now you can upgrade your Laraton device with this attached digital display. Be instantly transported to other locales as you exercise. You can bike in the woods, turn of the century London, a dystopian future, your very own home. We've got all sorts of options. What? Look, I'm in outer space. Order a Laraton today. It is out of this world. Well, there's no way you'll... Thanks, John. I know, I know, I know. Why do you need all of this stuff? You already have a real bike. Yeah, but my real bike can't take me through the Swiss Alps. Yeah, I guess not. Now I'm absolutely 100% certain that I have everything I need. Whoa. But do you really? Uh, release my friend! Love owning the Laraton, but hate all the exhausting exercise that comes with it? Introducing Larabox! For a small fee, you can get credit for your workouts without even doing them. Just enter your credit card number at the Larabock Marketplace and get fit without ever working out again. Would I lie? No. Nope. Need to purchase Larabock. You don't need any of this, John. <laughs> need. Do be shredded! No! John! John! Yeah. Wait, listen! <gasps> Uni Larry! No. Uh. It's Bible story time with Kellen! Oh! Hey guys! Oh. 
You okay? Great, Kellen. Uh, quick question. Can I borrow your credit card? Ignore him, Kellen. What are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about this. The Apostle Paul wrote this in a letter to the Church of Philippi. You can read it in the book of Philippians. Paul wrote, I have learned the secret of being content no matter what happens. You see, Paul knew what it was like to have more than he needed, and he also knew what it was like to not have enough. In fact, when he wrote these words, Paul wasn't a free man. He was being held under house arrest. So what is it, Kellen? What's the secret of being content? Well, I'll tell you. After we check in with our friends Becky and Bethilda. Whoa! Look at the hall of candy these two have. This, my friends, is what it looks like to have more than you need. And you'd think it should be easy to be content in a situation like this, right? But then, Bethilda. Who would do this? Who would do this? No! No! Not the sour candy! Who would give out sour candy? Ah! I hate sour candy with all my might! Maybe Becky has it figured out. Peanut butter? Oh, no, no, no. I don't like peanut butter. Mm -mm. Okay, yeah, these got to go. But you know what? My dad likes peanut butter. So I'll just set these aside for him. You see that? Becky was able to turn something she didn't like into a positive. While Bethilda, well, she lost her cool. Becky was content, while Bethilda was not. And that's when things are going good. What happens when things aren't so good? Aw, it looks like Becky and Bethilda are a little under the weather. Okay, maybe a lot of it under the weather. This would be one of those times when it's hard for anyone to be content. Dad! I'm uncomfortable! Dad! I need more pillows! Hello? But Thilda's a little upset. And I totally get it. I can get that way when I'm sick too. Or when I'm hungry. Or when I don't get my way. Or when someone has something that I want. It isn't always easy to be content. But then, Paul wrote that he learned the secret of being content no matter what happens. Thank you for the ginger ale. I wish I wasn't sick, but it's nice to know that I have someone taking care of me. Dad! There are going to be times when things aren't going perfectly. You're going to get sick. You're going to be hungry. You're going to be too hot or too cold or too something. And in those times, you'll need to know the secret of being content. Here it is. Paul wrote, I have learned the secret of being content no matter what happens. I am content whether I am well fed or hungry. I am content whether I have more than enough or not enough. I can do all this by the power of Christ. He gives me strength. Jesus is the secret. He gives us the strength to be content no matter what happens. So Jesus can help me be content and stop obsessively upgrading my Laraton? Sure. Then why do I still want Larabucks? Well, it's like what Paul wrote. I've learned the secret. It was something he had to learn, and it probably took some time to really get it. Mm. So it's a process. And if I allow Jesus to work in my life over time, I can learn how to be content? My work here is done. Thanks, Kellen. You bet. I'll see you guys next time. You feel better, John? No. Being content is hard, but I'm learning. Then we're headed in the right direction. Yeah. Reveal the question. 
When is it hardest to be content? Oh, well, it's obviously hard to be content when things are bad, but I actually think it's really tough to be content when things are close to perfect. Yeah, I totally get that. Like when you're at a theme park for a big vacation, but have to wait in a long line. Or when you've got exactly what you need and uh, something better comes along. Yeah, but is the Laraton really better? Uh, nah, I think I'm gonna return it. All sales final. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Until next time, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. This was the So-and-So Show. You know what I could do with this? What could you do? Hang laundry on it. Oh, that's yeah, great. I would yeah. get it nice and dry. Yeah. yeah. This would get nice and dry from my nice. sweat. You know, an exercise bike is all well and good, but riding a bike in the great outdoors, well, ain't nothing better. Woo, look at this scenery. <laughs> wow, this feels great. You can feel the wind. Can't see it, but you can feel it. Far. You know. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Paul had a lot of different experiences going on in his life, and not all of them were good. There were times where he was hungry, he was in trouble, he was in jail. But through it all, he knew how to be content. How did he do that? How can we do that? Well, Paul wrote that he had learned to be content no matter what. The key word there is learned. Paul had learned how to be content, just like you learn what two plus two is and how many letters are in the alphabet. Sometimes learning contentment will be easy, but sometimes learning contentment takes time. You'll learn how to adjust your attitude and be okay when you don't have everything you want and things don't go your way. The second thing Paul wrote is this. I can do all this by the power of Christ. He gives me strength. Friends, when you put your trust in Jesus, you can rely on Him and the Holy Spirit to give you strength when you're not feeling content about something like if you don't get what you asked for for your birthday, or you didn't get that part you wanted in the school play, or you don't get that position you want on the team, or you have to wear the same t-shirt all the time. Remember, God can help you be content. When you are sad or disappointed, when things don't go as you had hoped or expected, talk to God about it. Ask Him to help you see your situation in a whole new way. It's time to bring it home now with our small group time, so long as your parent listened to today's instructions. First off, I want you to think, is there something in your life you are not content with? Perhaps your video game is last year's version, or you think your neighbor has way cooler shoes than you, or your friend's mom packs some candy in his lunch every day while you get vegetables. Admit what it is you're having trouble being content with, and take time to ask God to help you see things differently. Then, talk with your family members. Maybe God will give them an idea of how you can have a new perspective. Now press pause, complete the activity, and then come back for the second set of instructions. Now, I want you to grab a whole bunch of t-shirts. The idea is to write out each word of our memory verse on either a piece of paper or a piece of masking tape. Then attach each word to a t-shirt. Scramble them all up and then put the verse back in order again. Then afterwards, have everyone pitch in to fold the shirts and put them away. Parents, now's the time to either scan the QR code on the screen or head over to the Lake Point app to build our online connection card. Signing our guest book lets us know who's watching and helps us stay connected to you. It also allows you to sign up for our latest Lake Point initiatives and opportunities. So kids, while your parents are busy doing that, why don't you go count and see how many t-shirts you have, especially the blue ones.
that you can go back and watch your favorite Lake Point Kids online family experiences on our YouTube channel or on our Lake Point app in the family resources section. Thanks for tuning in today, friends. I'll see you again next week. Same time, same place. Remember, God can help you be content.